What's going on guys? I hope you're very well. I hope you're having a very good start of the week. Um, the other day we were shopping at this shopping mall and in this imported goods store we saw this tiny tiny little fish bowl and we thought it'd be a perfect perfect idea you know the perfect container for a monster area. So that's what we're doing today. This was super super cheap like less than a dollar <laughs> or a dollar uh, i don't remember correctly because somebody got this for me my girlfriend got it for me and so uh yeah that's what we're doing today um this is super easy it's going to be a very short video but i want to take you through all of the little things that we've got here and you know the ideas that you have to keep in mind when you're building your own Mosterarium or paludarium or you know any of those ecosystem type of things so this is the container over here we have like a little assortment of stones that we can use in it and also a little bit of aquarium gravel you know this is normally used to build like roads or like little paths in the in the terrarium I usually don't do that because I like to you know make everything look as natural as possible with the exception of ancient ruins <laughs> that is a theme that i revisit over and over again in my builds because I, I don't know it's something that i quite like you know I'm, I'm very much into fantasy and all of these things uh, so ancient things like ancient ruins it's something that's quite cool for me over here we got the the soil that we're going to use you can see that this is a beat up uh, bonsai or pre bonsai container and we got the soil here you can see that it's very airy it doesn't cake up uh, it's got a lot of organic matter and in this case it's also have like a little bit of gravel you know in this case this is zeolite usually what you want to do with terrariums it's like built layers of soil but in this case since this is going to be such a tiny tiny little thing I don't think you need those layers because the main thing or the main problem that you're going to face here is evaporation. Losing water, uh, not having to water this daily because you have so little soil. Um, that's why I'm not going to use like the typical drainage layer and then activated charcoal and then the substrate and then something that covers it. I'm just going to use this all purpose one. Uh, it already has a little bit of gravel and organic matter. So it's going to, once the water evaporates, it's going to feed the little moss and it's also going to retain a lot of moisture. Uh, still, another thing that you have to keep an eye for is mold. And if you water and water excessively, you might run into it. So, uh, you know, just gauge how much water your little bill needs. That's another thing that you got to keep in mind. And finally over here, if you've seen my... Uh, Bonsai videos, you might have uh, spotted this little containers where you get like uh, like takeout or whatever. And this is a perfect container to build and propagate moss. You can see that it's nice, green and luscious. Usually when I buy plants, like they come from other states, um, they do come with, with a lot of moss and what I do is I collect it and I keep it in these little boxes to propagate it and to keep it alive for these type of builds. So you can see over here like different species of moss, for example this one, this one is another one that I've used. I saw another one over here, let me just see if I can focus. Uh, oh, this one over here, sort of look like, like a java moss, if you know what that is, if you're into aquariums. And this little hitchhiker puns that come with it. This also came with a, a little fern that's growing over here. This is kind of an interesting looking fern. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm keeping it. And uh, yeah, we're going to select the moss that we will use in this build from this little container. And I think it's going to look interesting once we finish it. And we got a visitor, my little kitty. What are you doing? Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. We're shooting a video. <laughs> I think she's a bit thirsty, so she's licking the condensation drops. Anyway, so that's 
that's what we're going to be using. I'm going to place the container down. I'm going to start filling it up with soil and then we continue with the rocks and the moss. Yeah, so here we go. So here we are. When I was collecting the materials for this, uh, I thought of something. Um, maybe this is going to be like a little, like a little meadow or like a little mount. I don't know if you're familiar with the Lord of the Rings, but there is a chapter in the Fellowship of the Ring that talks about um, Barrow Whites and Barrow Downs, which is this place between uh, the old forest and uh, this little town that is filled with tombs, tombs that belong to ancient men. And so there's like a grassy plain with... Uh, the occasional rocks sticking out of the ground mounds and rocks sticking out of those mounds anyway so there's like evil things under the mounds and whatever this is not supposed to be evil <laughs> this is gonna be like a happy little meadow but I thought about maybe using one of these little stones that I have here and placing it like so and then using like uh, Like the little moss to emulate the the grass that grows on that meadow. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do something like that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use more than one stone. I think I'm just gonna use the one, you know. Let's see, let's focus that. And, you know, that's another thing. These sort of builds lend themselves very well to be minimalistic. You know, with very, very little things. With very, very, let's say a limited palette. You can do beautiful, beautiful things. Okay. So, we tap it. We've already got something interesting there. Maybe I'm just going to push it a little bit further down. So we got more space. There we go. I'm going to remove this little stone that we have here. Just so that we have more room for the little moss to grow. Yeah. And we continue with the moss. Okay, so this is the first little patch of moss that I'm going to use. And you can see that this is sort of like a carpeting type of moss. So I'm just going to, you know, use it like that. You know, so I'm just going to come in and just drop them where I want them, really. You know, because what, what's going to happen is that once I spray this with water, all of those little nooks and crevices that we have under the moss are going to be filled with the water and uh, with the little soil particles that we're going to be using. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be picking out little patches of moss from the container and then placing them like that on the soil. Yeah. We got another one over here. I think this is the same species. So just place it down like so. And we continue to do so until we got like a nice little carpet Everything is covered, uh, and this looks like a little meadow. Yeah, look, this one is a bit different, but still quite interesting. So yeah, we continue to do this. This is a bit boring for you guys, I know. You know, if anything, it's repetitive. It's not particularly interesting. Yeah, I'm going to continue to do this and uh, I'm just going to show you how I sprayed this with water and uh, we'll call it a day. So here we go. Okay, so here we got the moss all planted and now we just come in with a spray bottle and thoroughly water this. The moss is planted, it's making contact with the soil, and in a couple of weeks, 
we'll have a very very cool looking little meadow yeah quite cool no so the last thing that I like to do is we got this clean film over here and uh, if you got like a glass cover for this like a glass lid so that it's clear the light can get through and it can be covered so that the moisture doesn't escape that's perfect if you don't this little page of cling film can go over the top like this you just cut the excess with scissors and it's gonna look cool Moisture is not going to escape, and uh, you know, almost everyone has got cling film in their home, so this might be something that you already have at home. So, uh, yeah, let's just continue to remove the excess over here, and we can call this a date. Yeah, and yeah, and here we have it the cling film is in position. And from this angle you can see all of the little details you can see that the moss is looking nice and healthy and that we've also planted a couple little patches of moss this variety it's like a very very fine like hair grass almost that's gonna look awesome in a couple of weeks so uh, yeah you should give it a try it's uh, you know super inexpensive it costs absolutely <laughs> almost nothing and uh, yeah it's really really cool if you want to have this uh, at home or at your office keep it under a bright light once you see the soil it's starting to dry up that's your time to water it lightly with the spray bottle and uh, yeah that's pretty much it add as much or as little as you want when it comes to decorations and stones and whatever and you should have like a beautiful little monsterarium for you to enjoy so anyway guys i hope you're very well if you have any doubts comments anything drop them down below please subscribe to the channel uh you will be really helping me out if you do and uh, i'll see you in the next one okay bye